Hi guys, welcome to our video 0 0.6 scientific notation. Yes, we're going to be doing math. Unfortunately, there is a decent amount of math and chemistry, so we're going to have to go over a bunch of these. Now, hopefully, we remember a good amount about scientific notation from math class, but we got to go over it anyway, just to be safe. So, scientific notation is a method for expressing very large or very small numbers easily. All right, so if we're dealing with a number like a million, we don't always want to take the time to write out all these zeros. So we can just write it 1.0 times 10 to the 6th. All right, as we get to even much bigger or much smaller numbers, it'll save us a lot of time in writing them out. So how do we do scientific notation? Well, we always move the decimal place to make the mantissa, probably a word I'm never going to use again, but it sounds fancy, so I wanted to squeeze it in here. It's the number out in front of the decimal. It's just going to be one number, and it'll be something from 0 to 9. We then arrange the exponent, the number, up to the right of the 10. So we're always going to have one digit point, however many digits, times 10 to an exponent. Okay. Now, that exponent is either going to be a positive number or a negative number. When our original number, if our number is greater than 1, then the exponent is positive. If our number is less than 1, then the exponent is negative. All right, after you get your number, you need to check your work. You're going to take the one in this case, right, 1.0 times 10 to the 6th, and we move the decimal six places to the right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right, I go 1, right, because the decimal was here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places to the right, do I have a million? Well, yes, I do, so that means I did it correctly. All right, so let's say you're going to use a calculator. Okay? So let's say I wanted to do 2.3 times 10 to the minus fifth in scientific notation on a calculator. Well, first I'll type 2, and I'll do an example of this in a moment. I'll pull up a calculator. First I'll type the 2, then the decimal point, then the 3. Then I'm going to hit a special key on the calculator called the exp key. Sometimes it might be EE. -E but most of the ones now have this exp key. Then I'll hit the plus minus key, right? Not the subtract key, but there's a plus minus key because I want it to be negative 5. And then 5. And then if I have an enter, I can hit that. But at this point, I've entered this in scientific notation. All right, so I want to enter this number in my calculator. I'm going to follow directions. 2 decimal point, 3, press the X key, press the plus minus, which is right here, and 5. And this is going to give me 2.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. And once I hit equals, the calculator converts it to what it is here. So if I go, right, 2.3 times 10 to the negative fifth, when I want to check myself, 2.3. I'm going to move the decimal five places since it's negative to the left. One, two, three, four, five. So it's 0 0.000023, which is what the calculator said. All right, question time. All right, the following numbers in scientific notation. Remembering the mantis rule. What the mantis rule means again is you're allowed one number before the decimal. You can have multiple after, and it's times 10 to the something. Remember, negative if it's less than 1, positive if it's greater than 1. And then you'll write these following scientific notation as regular numbers. All right, this is, sorry it came out so poorly, it's 10 to the 8th. This is 10 to the minus 11th. All right, that brings to the end of our video for 0 0.6. See you guys at school.